Hi everyone, so today we are doing language variations with idioms and expressions. So let's see how many do you know. Okay, let's get started. So we have to have your head in the clouds. And this basically means that someone's a bit absent-minded, distracted, not really paying attention. Hungarian, it's the same with a bit of, uh, I don't know, poetic way of saying things. And we say, a fellegekben jár, which is a literal translation of the English one. Hmm. In French, you can say, avoir la tête dans, la, dans les nuages, which literally means to have your head in the clouds. Um, or être dans la lune, which means to be in the moon, but I guess in English it would be to be on the moon. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. In Malay, I really couldn't find it. So if you know, you should really comment down below <laughs> to let me know what is the Malay equivalent of this. If I were to translate this directly, it would be kapala dam awan, awan, which basically means head in the clouds, but it mm. means nothing to me. So tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to stick your nose into something. So this is basically busybody, so they're putting their nose in where it's not really needed. So <laughs> they're, they're like, you're interfering when you shouldn't really be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in Hungarian we say beleuti az orre, which means you, um, like you hit your nose into something. Oh. But it's the same, it's the same thing. Sounds like more you, you stick your nose, well yeah. Can you say yeah. don't hit your nose? So I, think it, I think it's like the action of like, here's something and you're coming so close mm. that your nose is like hit Pushing by against a wall. the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rather than just, you know, like sort of tiptoeing into the situation, you're like, like full on. actually full on in yeah. it so that you get hurt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So in French, we also have a similar sentence of mettre son nez dans quelque chose which literally means to put to put your nose, to suck your nose in something. But um, I wanted to also bring an alternative, which I really like, which is ajouter son grain de sel, which means to add your pinch of salt. Or actually, oh. no, a pinch of grain of salt. But, no. That makes uh, sense, like actually. That. Oh, like to add your two cents. Yeah, yes. it's like, so it's like this, so it's whenever there's a situation and you just have to, you have to... You have to be involved, yeah, you feel like you have to be involved in the situation whereas you should be keeping out of it. Okay. And I like it very much. That's her point. In Malay there are two things. One, it has nothing to do with nose. So, <laughs> and, it, and the thing is we don't have like, stick your nose into something, instead it's a don't. So don't mm. stick your okay, nose yeah. into something. So we say, jangan jaga tepi kain orang, which means, which translates to don't, don't pay attention or, or like deal with or do. The, the, the side of the cloth of other people. Oh, yeah. Really? How I would imagine it would be like, you know, when you have a dress or when you have like a, something with, with this one, you, you don't, don't care what happens here. This, uh, is, this is mine. Like, this is my side. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, so we have caught between a rock and a hard place, which means you're in a difficult situation. And it's kind of like a no-win situation. But we also have up shit creek without paddle. <laughs> and I, and I, I think this one's very visual, like you can imagine. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a very slangy phrase. Yeah, it's very yeah. slangy. It's not... I think you'd find it in an urban dictionary rather than an actual dictionary. Yeah, so. <laughs> Don't say this at school. I mean... <laughs> um, yeah, Hungarian is very different this time. We say két tűz között, which means you're in between two fires. Okay. So okay. similar thing, like you're in a difficult situation and no matter which way you want to go, you're going to be going through fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, talking about fire, then one of the sim poss possibilities of translating this, or the similar idiom in French, would be uh, pris entre deux fers, um, which means um, to be into to, uh, to be between two irons. Okay. Yeah. okay. So it'd also be stuck Danger. in between fire. Danger. Danger. Yeah. And another one I like is pris entre l'arbre et l'écorce, 
which means stuck between the tree and the bark. Oh, like bugs. Oh. So like trapped. So yeah. you're basically trapped, trapped inside, inside okay. the tree. <laughs> oh wow, very visual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. In, in, I guess in Malay it sounds so scary though. <laughs> so we say, Ditalan mati oma, di luah mati bapa, which means if you swallow, your mom dies. <laughs> If you what? spit it out, your dad dies. If you swallow like what? Swallow like if, oh. that if you have a food oh in your mouth, and then if you choose to finish the food, like eat it, you swallow it, then your mom dies. And if you <laughs> spit it out, then your dad dies. I honestly just had so spill swallow. Yes, and that's so like... So in comparison so to yours... you'll say that. Or like that. I, no, you're just in a very difficult situation. situation. Okay. Whatever you do, you One of the person you care about will, will be, um... That's horrible! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's so dark! Uh, yeah, dark. a little bit. <laughs> and yeah. I feel Emma's was already a bit horror story-like, but there's like a whole <laughs> other level. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Let's okay. move on to another one. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So we have to take the bull by the horns. And this basically means act decisively and like straight away in a direct manner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I really love the Hungarian version of this. So we do say the same thing, like to take the bull by its horns, but we also say belecsap alecsóba, which means you smack into the stew. <laughs> <laughs> so like right in the middle, directly getting to your point, and it's just like let's get started, let's get working, wow. and it's like oh, this is also a bit of a slang phrase, of course. But um, I like it. We, we use it I very, like it very often. Yes, I love this. <laughs> okay. In French, it's not that exciting. <laughs> we just have the sort of boring version of prendre le taureau par les cornes, which is literally the same thing. <laughs> okay, I I tried to look for this one in Malay. I found something, but it it has a slightly different meaning. So it takes the meaning of you're just gonna you could just gonna do it. You're just going to go through all these obstacles and do it. So then we have this phrase, Membujo lalu melintang pata, which actually means if it's, if it's vertical, you pass through it, and if it's horizontal, you break it. Okay. So like, regardless of what happens, you're just going to go and do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's very really nice. That's, a good, like that. that's like adding an extra point to it. Exactly. Yeah. I do like that. It's nice. It's like action. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have, don't look a gifted horse in the mouth, which basically means don't question the value of a gift. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same in Hungarian, gifted horse thing. <laughs> yeah, um, so in French it's very, very similar. It's à cheval de nez, on ne regarde pas les dents. So it's specifically about not looking at the teeth. Oh yeah, <laughs> we have the, the teeth, mouth. yes. So, <laughs> the so. teeth. Oh, I'm so glad teeth. you mentioned it because I didn't pick up on it in my own translation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I guess it's because the, the teeth, teeth is the, the, the sort of. The They're very part. big on a horse. Yeah. Yes. The part that you see of the mouth. With this, you can really see the European similarity and, and the Asian side where we are, we're totally different. So we have two. Mm -hmm. um, this one focuses on being thankful to gifts. So like you don't, you don't mm -hmm. question it, but for us, it's more about the, the recipient side. Like you should, you should mm -hmm. be thankful whatever good things people do mm -hmm. to you. So one we say, Terima kasih daun keladi. This is very weird. I've never heard of this before I found it. It's called thanks, like thank the yam leaf. The yam leaf? Wow. Yeah, the like the leaf of the yam. Yeah. Huh? It's actually, yeah. <laughs> this is a direct translation. Daun keladi, if I'm not wrong, is a tough vegetable. But I don't remember what is it in English. If you know, uh. let me know. And the other one, it sounds more poetic. It's orang orang berbudi kita berbahasa, orang memberi kita merasa. This is basically just saying like when people are polite to you, you're polite back. Mm -hmm. And if people give you, you 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 should be like thankful about it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, we have an early bird catches the worm, which basically means that someone who gets things done straight away and does things early reaps the rewards. Mm. Yeah. So we are being very different this time. Mm. 
We say, kikor el kell aranyat lel, and it means that he who wakes up early will find the gold or the oh, treasure. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I like so, treasures. Yeah, it's the same <laughs> sentiment, but uh, it's a very a different way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, more representative <laughs> of the human beings. <laughs> <laughs> It's more reward oriented. <laughs> so ours, we don't get any gold, but <laughs> in French it's l'avenir appartient à ceux qui se lèvent tôt, which means um, the, the future, the destiny, the future belongs to those who get up. So it basically wow. is saying that if you get up wow. early, they get up early. So if you get up early, you have a future. So wow. if you get up late, you don't have a future. Yeah. Yeah. But it also no, sounds very poetic. No. Yeah. The, way, the way it's said in French is it's not just future, it also means that you basically have um, a promise. It's not just a future, okay. it's like a, a promise promising the future. future. But it's just yes. with the word avenir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And ours, I think this is the most shallow one we have then <laughs> out of the six. We say siapa cepat dia dapat, which means whoever is faster, he or she gets it. Oh wow. But guess what? No one knows. <laughs> you just get it. The prize. <laughs> There's so much innuendo with Melvins. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> they are, they are, have varied um, in, in I don't know, in terms of poetic. Yeah, that's Style. true. And interesting ones. <laughs> yeah. Or a uh, range of interpretation possibilities. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But I realize how similar it is. I mean, like, all three of you have horses for the gift, gift horse one, for example. I mean, one's a mouth, one's a teeth. But, you yeah. know. Probably comes from Latin then. Probably. Yeah, and a lot of the musical uh, imagery, like visual things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. References. And mine is obviously, or like, food. way more Asian based. Yeah. Yes. I mean, the yam. Dying mom and dying dad. <laughs> that sounds... That's terrible. <laughs> but yeah. So what do you call these in your languages? Köszönjük, hogy megnéztétek a videónkat! Támogassatok minket! Elhazadok fel! Ne felejtsetek el a csengőt!